Do you know what time it is, y'all, when I'm starting recording this? It's freaking 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time that I'm recording this. Yes, we are back with another night late video that I should have uploaded for the past few hours. So, the reason why I keep uploading so late, you probably know why. Lazy around, so let's just wait and after the new SMG4 episode, let's just wait around for the next live of the afternoons and then wait until tonight comes and there we are. That's why. And there was two fears from Super YT that I really need to get into. There was one from a few days ago that was Unsolved Mysteries, and there was a Gonzo Fury too. And that freaking just hit 70 dang likes, six hours later. And Unsolved Mysteries, this mother freaking hit 133 by Sonic people. <laughs> Sorry for saying that, but still. But anyways, but first up, we are going to be watching SMG4 Gonzo Fury first since this came out today. And from a few days ago, we're going to be watching Unsolved Mysteries by then. So let's just get into it. After what we saw from Gonzo has finally come and returned for this. Ooh, I'm still a little bit afraid what's going to happen for the next past episodes or whatever, but who knows. But we're going to find out and see how this will go, and we're just going to see how it will go. Leave your comments down below, link in the description box below, and let's see what God's Wars Theory is all about. Let's just hope, hope it will be good for the next past episodes before things could get anything much worse. Gaizo has now officially been unleashed into the SMG4 world. What does this mean for the future of the series? And what does this arc have in store for us? Welcome to my SMG4 Kaizo theory. Make sure to like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. So, wow, we, uh, we're right again! In my SMG4 Kaizo arc theory, I stated that I predicted that Tari would be the one to take Kaizo out of his game. And, uh, yeah, here we are. With, with Tari yep. taking Kaizo out of the game. Right. So now that this episode is out, I gotta say, I am almost stumped with the direction this arc is going. But one thing I can say for certain is that the Rapper Bob arc is going to play a major role in this arc. The amount of callbacks at this point well, is too big of a coincidence they forgot for the Rapper about the Bob Darkest Hour. I still can't believe they forgot about it in the past three years. That Bob and Melanie are both it might be full soon, so I don't know. Later in arc in terms of rapping, and just rapping in general is going to be a major plot point in this arc. Now, whether or not this arc is going to be Kaizo as the main antagonist remains to be seen. I would love it if the arc did a complete 180 and Kaizo was not actually the main antagonist, but it's more than likely Kaizo was going to do something about he better say something like developed that. character. Maybe take more characters out of her game or something like that? He wants Psycho to be more like him, so it makes sense that he's going to do something ridiculously bad that makes him an antagonist just to get Psycho back on his side. But it's still a little too early to make that prediction based on the lack of evidence. However, I do mm. love the Mario and Kaizo duo established at the end of the episode. Mario seems to actually really enjoy being Kaizo's friend, so perhaps that could be a long-lasting friendship established in this arc. In terms of the ending for this arc, I'm betting it's going to end in a wrap of some kind. I know it seems weird to jump to the end of the arc after just being on the second episode, but hear me out. I'm almost betting that this arc is going to end in Wadfi, unfortunately. I know it's something that many people aren't going to like, and that includes me, but this arc is setting up Wadfi perfectly just because of the wrap. It was the first the time, I Although swear I would God. like it more if they they did something like the Mario in the diss track episode, but it's more than likely that the Wadfi rap is going to end this arc. It's too big of an opportunity to pass up. Now, one thing I'm predicting in terms of the end is that Bob will be the one to defeat Kaizo inside of a rap battle of some kind, which is a perfect opportunity to showcase the development Bob has been through since the rapper Bob arc. To be the one to defeat Kaizo and to be the one to save all of his friends at the end. That, in my opinion, would be the perfect way to end this arc. So thank you all for watching and check out my Kaizo. I tell you what, theory. you know what? I tell you all what. Here's what I'm gonna say. I tell you all what. I swear, man, if they gonna be doing this for the third time in the law fees, people is probably never gonna like it. Especially when the last arc was from Jeremy's arc. Freaking dark as edge. Seriously, after what happened to Axel, uh, at least still was gone now, so that's still good. But man, 
Good on Mr. Axel. You know, maybe he could be right. I don't know, it will be the bubble wrap or the Waffy again, whatever, but he can make a little point. I just hope he doesn't make another third Waffy. If it is, it's going to absolutely going to be something. Oh, man. I'm looking at the comments right now before I get to the other video, and I mean... Man, I tell you this. Oh, man, I tell you this. Jesus flipping goodness. You know what? I hope he could be right. I swear, if it's not Waffy, we are dead as freak. I I'm sorry. I mean, I understand that Waffy's could be a little bit different now, to be honest. I mean, freaking two years later, we have already did the YouTube and the Jarrah's now. And actually, Wild Luigi from four years now. Wasn't it four years or before five? I don't know, but still. But listen, you got my warning, but I'm just letting you all know if it's going to happen, but who knows. But now, the past few days, we're going to be watching SMG4's Unsolved Mysteries. Probably it's going to be something I feel from the Ox, or it's going to be something of, something with Unsolved. We're actually from Mystery Unsolved's. So, we're probably going to see how this would go. I know this is all way take place from back in the other arcs, but let's just see how this would go for this one. Maybe he could might have figured something out, so let's see. SMG4 has had a lot of unsolved mysteries over the years, and today we're going to take a look back at the biggest mysteries the series has given us. Make sure to like and subscribe, enjoy the video. The first unsolved mystery on this list is One Shot Ren. Oh, Initially yeah, introduced in the Mario England. Babies episode, from One Shot Ren was introduced and then has never shown up again. Yeah. The character seems to have a lot of potential, and for such an important character, Probably having him never show up again die. would be a waste of said potential. However, there hasn't been a moment that has presented itself where One Shot Ren could return, so perhaps it's just because the time isn't right. The next unsolved mystery is how did the multicolored Marios get inside of this universe? We received an explanation question, as to why SMG 4 and 3 look similar to Mario, but the recolored Marios are just there. They've been given no explanation to their existence, and without it, it just seems like there's a massive unexplained hole in the story. Why do they look like Mario? Why are they recolored? We know the real life explanation, but we need a lore explanation too. Thirdly, we have the God Box sentience. At some point, I'll be making a theory on this, but why does the God Box have sentience? This was never explained, and it was also never right, explained fully what the God that. Box's true goal was. But thanks for was it just corrupt in power? You know and speaking of the God reaction, Box, another unsolved mystery is why the God Box is even still around. It got blown to bits in the Revelations movie, but the next video after showcases Luke pulling stuff out of a perfectly fine God Box. Hmm. For the fourth mystery, we have the character Steve. Steve has showcased that he has a lot of unique powers that have just gone unexplained. He doesn't talk, so it's hard to be granted any form of explanation regarding his past or his strange powers. To put it into perspective, Steve was put above Melanie in the 5 million subscriber livestream tier list of power. The fifth mystery is all about Tari and her existence in the SMG4 canon. Oh, As yeah. of right now, we have been the granted no one. explanation as to why she exists in this universe, how she got here, her background, or any of that. The only thing we know about her is that she plays games for a living and has the powers to go inside of video games, but considering this Tari takes place in a different canon from the Meta Runner Tari, we still need Didn't an explanation to her existence in this universe. The sixth mystery Seriously, is Frankie's that. unexplained powers. In the SMG4 oh, episode deleted, Frankie was sent to the that. internet graveyard oh, and it was never shown how he got out. Frankie then later appeared in the episode Stupid Mario 3D All-Stars with no explanation true, how, how he got out of the out? internet graveyard. When Luke was asked how this happened in the 5 million subscribers, live stream, he stated that Frankie is a god. This statement is likely a joke, and this is likely the writers just forgetting that Frankie was sent to the internet graveyard in the first place, but it's still an unsolved mystery nonetheless. The seventh mystery is how powerful Fishy Boopkins actually is. While he is depicted as a wimp in most scenes, he has demonstrated strange yeah, powers such as granting people the ability was, to breathe underwater. This power okay. was never demonstrated still, again, so. and it makes you wonder, sure. what else is Boopkins hiding? The eighth mystery is the outside influence of the Great Beyond. Based on what still the Genesis and Revelations arts gave us about nice. it, it seems that there is outside influences inside of the Great Beyond that alter the series for their own desires. As of right now, the Great Beyond Beyond itself is still much of a mystery. I go into this deeper in my SMG4 Guardian Theory, so check that out for more.
you know, you know, some of them were okay. I mean, like, I understand for some of those like that, but it's really kind of confusing with some of those, like, for the fans flat that, like me. Seriously, I've been watching SMG4 for years, and I understand every single thing about this from years. Sometimes I might forget, but sometimes I still know. But I still understand, I know it's from the future or whatever, but I can still get the point to understand their opinions, and understand their points, or understand their really garden points. Speaking of the we cut Mario's, what else happened to Erzo? Yes, you remember Erzo, that freaking creepy mother freaking creepy pasta guy? Yeah, what happened to him? I mean, he, he was not around that much. Oh well. That, that makes sense. It's what it is. It is what it is. Oh well. Well guys, what is your thoughts about these two videos about what we just saw today? Make sure to leave your comments down below and think what is your guys' thoughts. Still going to be very well about the console ones. Like the console ones that we saw today or whatever. But, in the next few episodes, or in the past next few months, there might be Wall Fee, we might be being the same thing, so who knows. We could be right about that, I mean, I don't freaking know. I mean, of course he just brought that up too, I get that. I get that, he brought that up. Alright y'all, so anyway guys, have a good rest of your night. Make sure you go subscribe to Silver YT and SMG4, link in the description box below. And have a good rest of your night, and have a good day. See you all later.